Okay, Nadia wants to drive her caravan from her home to Fishguard, and here's her plan. So, number of miles on the motorway, um, 150, yeah? And you can see her average speed is 60 miles per hour. And then number of miles not on the motorway, the average speed is 30 miles per hour, and she's got, she's got to do 60 miles. So if you think of a long journey, often when we go on a long journey, you, you spend a lot of that time on the motorway, but then there's a lot of roads you have to go on um, after the motorway or, or before you get on the motorway. And you can see here clearly the speed on the motorway, the average speed is a lot more, isn't it? Because you go faster on the motorway, whereas the other roads you go on, right, like the A roads, the B roads, um, you go a lot slower on average. But these are the amount of miles, it says, that she's got to go, okay, um, on the motorway. And then these are the, road, the amount of miles that are not on the motorway. So in total, if you think about it, she's got to go, she's got to drive 210 miles, doesn't she? 210 miles um, to drive her caravan, uh, to take her caravan to Fishguard, 210 miles in total. So what I, what, what I do here is, okay, it says, yeah, at those speeds, how long will her journey take? Well... If we look at um, the motorway here, right, okay, um, let's focus on the motorway to begin with. And now she goes at that average speed, 60 mph. What that means is, right, that in one hour, of course, she will travel 60 miles. Okay, so I can write that statement there. That's what 60 mph means, Six, 60 miles per hour. So in one hour, she will travel 60 miles. But of course, she wants to travel 150 miles, yeah, on the motorway. So we need to think of somehow scaling this up, all right? Now, if you think about it, 60, it doesn't go into 150, doesn't it? Okay, so, you know, we, it's going to be quite hard to think about what we times this by to get 150, all right? So if we can't scale that up, 250 maybe we can scale it up to a, a bigger number so maybe um double 150 say 300 yeah so let's try and scale it up to 300 miles a lot more than we actually need but the good thing is okay i can easily scale that up because 60 miles to 300 miles i'm times in by five so in other words if you can do 60 miles in one hour it'll take her five hours to do 300 miles because it's five times the distance. But of course then we need to remember it's not 300 miles on the motorway, it's, it's 150, which is half of this. So if I halve this, 150 miles, of course then I'd need to halve the time. So half of five hours will be two and a half hours. So she's gonna spend two and a half hours on the motorway. Now, when it comes then to roads that are not the motorway, okay, she does 60 miles in total, going at an average speed of 30. So, uh, speed means that she can do 30 miles in one hour. If she can do 30 miles in one hour, she needs to do 60 miles. Now, I can quickly scale that up, because all I need to do is double that. So, 60 miles is just times that by two. So, if she can do 30 miles in one hour, she can do 60 miles in two hours. Okay. So that means then it's going to take her two hours to do 60 miles on roads that aren't the motorway and two and a half hours to um, do that 250 miles on the motorway. So how long will the journey take in total? Well, we've got two and a half hours here and then we've got two hours here. So in total, it's going to be four and a half hours. Okay, so 4.5 hours or four and a half hours.